Hey, I'm Gav from Park Cameras, and oh, today's the day. It's Imaging Festival. I'm here at our Burgess Hill store. Let's have a look. Right, so there's loads going on this weekend. We've got seminars running all weekend, covering all kinds of different topics. We've got them indoors, we've got them outdoors. We've got brands in store who have brought along loads of exciting stuff for everyone to try out. I'm going to try and sit in on some of the seminars. I'm going to try and speak to as many brands as possible. So, let's go. <music> to take portraits, think outside the box, try different things. You don't necessarily need eye contact or even to see the subject's face to take a really good portrait. But you might want to take a headshot and I make sure to take this kind of picture at every session. But there are, and there are definite elements to look out for with this kind of picture. I think with a headshot, there's nowhere to hide. If it's just the head and shoulders, it's either a good shot or it doesn't quite work. It's either a natural expression or it's not. It either shows their personality or it doesn't. But I think these kinds of shots can be fantastic and they're hugely popular with parents. And you know, rightly so. I think a really beautiful head and shoulders portrait is an incredibly lovely thing to have. from Olympus. Um, so Claire, what have you brought along to Imaging Festival? So uh, today we are sort of really letting people know about the 17mm, the 25mm and the 45mm 1.2 Pro lens range. Right. Uh, firstly, 17mm. You can see they all look very similar, um, but they have the manual focus clutch. They're all 1.2, so they give you amazing depth of field. Clarity and sharpness is fantastic, but the one thing about the 17mm, it's not just used for wide angle, it can be used for macro as well, so it's sort of my go-to lens at the moment. It's lovely. Uh, you've got the 25mm, which is the standard 50mm in old money. Um, it's sort of the 25 is what everybody used to use on their 35mm cameras. Absolutely fantastic, as the human eye sees. And then the last one is the 45mm, which is our pro lens, uh, which is for portraits. Uh, the other thing about all our lenses on this range is they are all weatherproof. So, beautiful Great. bit of glass, nine aperture blades, absolutely beautiful. Perfect, thank you very much. But I like the traditional thing. You know, that was a simple image that I did. I went up to a place called Maukop. I live in Cheshire. Surprisingly enough, travel up to the Lake District, it's a long story, I'm not going there. But I travel up all the time, travel all over the country to be honest with you. But I just wanted to get some heather shots rather than travelling up into the mountains. There's a place called Mau Cop near me, at Congleton, which has got a bit of a folly on it and it's got a plethora of, of heather. And I just happened that night to get it where the sky looked this incredible purpley colour. It just matched it beautifully. It was a fluke, you know, you get that. But that's me, I'm traditional. These things here, they come into landscape photography all the time. We're here with Adam from Parsite. So Adam, what's the most exciting thing you've brought to the Imaging Festival? Well, luckily this year at the Park Cameras Imaging Festival, we've got the brand new G9. We've also brought along all the brand new lenses. So we've got the new 200mm that's 2.8 all the way through. Okay. But this G9 is lightning fast. If you're into sports, you're into wildlife, you're into landscape photography, this is the high-end equipment from Panasonic currently. This G9, as I say, fastest focusing camera in the world, now with 6K burst mode, is gonna allow you to take 30 photos a second and 18 megapixel still. So if you're into wildlife and sports, an ideal uh, function for you to be able to operate. And landscape photography, now a high res mode, 80.5 megapixel JPEG and RAW. So an incredible function of technology all inside one kit. And then of course with you guys having your great selection of lenses from Panasonic, you can pair them up and be able to achieve all those fantastic shots. Oh, perfect, sounds great. Thanks very much. No problem. Afternoon everybody. Welcome along to the uh, Park Cameras Imaging Festival. Has anyone done a talk yet today? Or am I anybody's first? A few of you have done a couple. Yay, fantastic. There's loads of stuff going on here today, so if you're not booked into some of the later ones, there's some other great classes and uh, free tutorials, so do go make the most of it, because Park Cameras have laid on a great weekend, which is fantastic. So, uh, a little introduction for those that don't know me. Hello! 
that's it. That's it. Uh, my name's Gavin Howey, I'm a full-time professional photographer and uh, educator, I guess is the best way to describe it. I make my living nowadays mostly making video tutorials for a company called YouTube. Anyone heard of YouTube? Yeah, uh, so if you think he's vaguely familiar, that's probably where you've seen me from. Uh, so for the next hour, we're going to talk about uh, simple steps to superior portraits. And I'll try and explain the, the ethos behind this talk with a little bit of a PowerPoint presentation for as short a time as I can make it, and then we'll get on to the photography side of things. Okay, we're here with Bruno from Nikon. Bruno, what's the most Hello. exciting thing you've brought to Nikon? Cool, I'd probably say this massive sign standing behind me gives you a little bit of a clue. Sure. Uh, that will be the Nikon D850. That's our new full frame uh, SLR. Now, what's really good about this particular camera is that it can do a little bit of everything. Now, before in the past, you either had a really high resolution camera that was slower to operate, or you had a really fast camera that was low resolution. Now, with the D850, it kind of allows you to do a little bit of both, being 45 megapixels, but be still able to shoot a seven or nine frames a second with the grip, all in one, as well as adding new features that photographers have been asking for for a very long time, things like the tiltable screen, the touch screen, the 4K video, slow motion, focus shift, everything that's new into the camera. I think we, the reason why it's so special is because we've kind of thrown everything that we could at it and everybody's really, really loving it. So happy, really to, happy to be showing it. I loved it when I got to play with it a few weeks ago. Yeah, and I'm glad you enjoy it. Hopefully you're going to be using it next time. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Thanks very much. So no worries. We're here with Mike, the store manager of our Burgess Hill store. Mike, how's the day been going? It's been pretty good actually. The store's had some really crazy sales going on today and it's been surprising what's gone through the tills. Okay, anything that stood out in particular? I suppose best stuff of today, you've got Rotolite, the Neo series stuff that's come out, the Mark IIs, those have been really popular today. Panasonic's G9s, incredible bit of kit and equally today, the lens arsenals that have gone out with them as well, incredible array of lenses that have been sold and probably Canon's 6D. <laughs> That was a really great day and we saw some really exciting stuff. So if you've got any questions about any of it at all, pop it down in the comments below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you couldn't make it to our Burgess Hill store, we've got another imaging festival in our London store this weekend, the 23rd of June. Make sure to hit the like button if you liked the video. Make sure to subscribe for more content. I'll see you in the next video. And as always, thanks for watching.